Research projects generally comprise four key components. Four key components. The first component is writing a constructive research protocol. Writing a constructive research protocol is the first step in a research. Writing a protocol. Once the protocol is designed, you need to start your experiments. You need to start your experiments. So the second step is performing experiments. Once you perform the experiments, you will get a result. That results must be tabulated. That results must be tabulated. So you have you need to tabulate and eventually analyze the results. If deemed necessary, you need to apply some statistical test to see the difference between the outcomes. The test may be parametric or non-parametric, depends upon the normal distribution of the data, what you are going to obtain during the research activities. So once you analyze the data, finally you will reach the conclusion and eventually you should start writing your paper for publication followed by you can submit your thesis. Don't follow the reversible manner, I mean uh, the another manner, submitting the thesis followed by paper submission. That is a wrong process. You need to first submit your paper followed by thesis rather than thesis followed by paper. So these are the four key components. Uh, let me enlighten you on the first component, writing the constructive research protocol. So these are the various steps of writing a protocol. The first step in writing a protocol is you need to identify the research problem based on research gap. For example, the smart street light management system we have talked just now. That is already identified, the gap is filled. You cannot repeat the same experiment. You need to identify another kind of problem based on the research gap. Research gap means the gap which has not been addressed by anyone. No one has done the experiment previously and no one has reported it. You are the first person who is going to report it. So you have to identify the research problem based on research gap. Next week onwards, we are going to start the activity and those who want to involve in this activity should only attend the class. It is not a passive learning uh, training session, it is an active learning means you need to talk, you need to come up with the questions, you need to come up with the research problem, you need to present through PowerPoint and you need to uh, inform us the entire story of your research work, the design, what you are going to do for another 2-3 months, including the schedule, the GAN chart. GAN chart means working schedule. September first week, I will complete this one. Second week, this one. Third week, I will complete. Fourth week, I will complete the experiment. Now, as October first week, I will start writing the paper. Second week, I will try to complete the first draft of my paper. Third week, I will get it approved by my supervisor. Fourth week, my paper will be ready for submission. November first week, I will draft the cover letter and all the necessary documents which are needed to be submitted for consideration by a Journal of International Repute that is none other than Scopus or Web of Science. I would like to publish my paper in a leading Web of Science, Science Citation Index Expanded Journals, probably a Q3 or Q4 rated, but if the outcomes are good, I might need to go for Q2 or Q1 journals. All depends upon the time. So second week, my paper will definitely be submitted. I will be waiting for another two months for my paper be considered by a journal. So I am expecting that my paper will be published in a journal of international repute by the month of February at the earliest January 2025. This is my work schedule. You see everything you are going to present in front of me and follow that work schedule. Okay students, so the first step in research is you need to identify the research problem based on the research gap. The second step, you need to formulate a research question based on the research problem what you have identified.
For example, the smart light management system. How to design smart light management system to reduce the electrical energy? What are the strategies available to construct a smart light management system? How, what, why? So such kind of questions you have to ask based on the research problem, nothing else. Once you are identifying the research problem, you can simply come up with a question. So research problem should be expressed in the form of questions. That's it. Nothing wrong in it. Very simple. So they, for example, just now we have covered, again I am telling, how to develop a strategy, smart light management system to reduce the electrical energy, to minimize the problem. What are the strategies available to reduce the electrical energy? How we can go ahead? Whether this algorithm is useful or not? So you have to come up with the questions. These questions are known as research questions. So research questions are developed based on research problem. Research problems are developed based on research gap. Means no one has done it previously. You are the first person who is going to do the research and going to fill the gap. That is research gap. Fine? Okay. The third step in writing a protocol is you have to undergo a constructive literature search and review. So what search engine and databases you will use for literature search? Just now are told. I triple E. I triple E. Where you can search and get the articles. Then science direct. www sciencedirect.com Last semester I have informed this. You should use Science Direct for retrieving the article. Then you can use Scopus www.scopus.com You can also use Procust P-R-O-Q-U-E-S-T Procust as a search engine. So why we are doing the literature search? To find out the gap, if anyone, for example, you have identified a research problem and you should check in the literature whether anyone has already reported or not. If no one has reported, then there is a gap. There is a gap. That gap you are going to fill by doing your own experiment. So you have not only for that purpose, you need to get a knowledge on that specific area for that you need to go for a literature search using a... Uh, Science Direct or IEEE or Scopus, whatsoever it may be. Finally, you are collecting the article and enriching your knowledge on the area where you are going to work. So that is literature search and review. So this is the third important step. The fourth one is, once you have done a literature search, you have to come up with the idea to solve a problem. To solve a problem. To solve a single problem, you may come up with many ideas. To solve a single problem, you may come up with many ideas. Those many ideas are known as divergent. And among those many ideas, you need to judge which idea is the best idea to be implemented to solve a problem. The reaching to the best idea, the single idea, that is known as convergent. Divergent means many ideas to solve a single problem. Among those many ideas, you need to identify which idea is the best idea to solve that particular research problem based on the research gap that you have identified. So you have to come up with the many ideas to a single potential idea which can be tested, which can be evaluated whether it you will be able to solve a problem or not. If it solves, your result is positive, if not negative. It does not matter, both are the part of research. So, you have to come up with the many ideas and among those many ideas, you have to come up with a single idea, best idea to solve a problem. So, coming up with the many ideas are known as creative thinking. You are creating ideas, many ideas. Among those created many ideas, you have to land up with a single idea that is critical thinking. So by using a creative and a critical thinking, now you are reaching a best idea to solve a problem that you have identified. So finally you have to reach the convergent thinking that is critical thinking. So now you are finally coming up with the final idea to address the research question.
accordingly you have to come up with the hypothesis 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 you have to hypothesize if we do in such way this problem may be solved this is a hypothesis if it is done panna the problem solve panna mudiyum this is known as hypothesis so you have to generate a hypothesis finally you have to formulate your aims and objectives what are your aims and what are your objectives so these are the component of research protocol but a complete story of uh, after that you have to uh, have a study design then you have to write a protocol protocol means a design what you are going to do the experimental procedures everything you have to write now these are the major components of your initial protocol setup